Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening. Your Excellency, members of the committee, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Guy Cater. Tonight, I have the honor of not only being your MC, but providing a little entertainment a little later on. And I understand that the uh, Kiwi Club Ball always keeps the entertainment a secret, which I think has been done quite well up until this particular point in time. Ladies and gentlemen, I am a stage hypnotist. But I am a very kind hypnotist. And after the meal tonight, I will be inviting some of you up here to enjoy the thrill of entering trance and making a bloody idiot of yourselves. Welcome on behalf of the uh, Port Moresby Kiwi Club. Now, for the New Zealanders uh, back home in New Zealand, there has been a lot of discussion on, on our nation. Our new Prime Minister, John Key, is suggesting we change the flag of New Zealand. Dr. Michael Cullen is saying that we should change the national anthem, which I rather like. And the president of the Labour Party, um, somebody called Little, is saying we should become a republic. Now, I personally feel before any of those issues are touched, there is one important thing that New Zealand should do. <laughs> Sir, that is a written, we are going to win the World Cup. Definitely. <laughs> no doubt about that. The others don't even need to come along and play. No, I am speaking of our national symbol. My wife Cynthia and I travel the United States. We tour there every year. Americans, any Americans in the room? Yeah. Welcome. Americans laugh at us. They love New Zealand, New Zealanders. But look at our symbol. Like them, New Zealanders have a bird. The Americans' bird can fly. They laugh because our national symbol is a bird that can't fly, he's half blind, only comes out at night, and as you all know, just eats roots, shoots and leaves. It is time, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, for New Zealand to have a symbol that emphasizes the psyche, the strength of New Zealanders, and I have something to offer. <laughs> Sir, could you take your girlfriend outside? <laughs> no, and I'm not referring to this white thing. This is a sick bag from V Australia Airlines. They're free. Under here is what I consider would make the perfect symbol to demonstrate the strength of New Zealanders. If you agree, you can applaud, and if you don't, you can boo. But what do you reckon, people? <laughs> Actually, Catherine Doyle said to me, she said, Guy, you're not allowed to endorse any products tonight, so I have to take the Lion Red labels off the bottle. <laughs> I thought we would start the evening with a little magic. Now look at this, it's a killer. I wave my hand, I snap my fingers, the bottle disappears, and I can see how impressed you are, but watch this. Snap of the fingers, wave of the hand, the bottle comes back. <laughs> Funny, good, eh? uh, you didn't? All right, I'll show you again. Look, I'll put the bag over the bottle, wave of the hand, snap of the fingers, and the bottle's gone. <laughs> and now it comes back again. Oh, wow. You, you don't seem very impressed. <laughs> oh, look, I'll do it one more time. Watch carefully. I put the V Australia sick bag over the bottle. Then you couldn't give a damn, could you? Ah, oh, stuff it, I'm not going to do it. You weren't watching, were you? Ladies and gentlemen, in a moment I'm going to...